hello everyone welcome to check Leopard channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how to download and install obs studios in your windows 10 computer and i'm also going to show you how to quickly set up obs so you can start recording so the first thing you need to do is open any browser and then search for download obs and then press enter and then click on the first link which is from obsproject.com and right here you can see that we have three options and windows is selected by default and if you scroll down a bit you can see the download installer button so let's click on it and as you can see here the download started and it might take a few seconds to complete okay now that the download is complete so let's go ahead and click on it and then click on yes now let's minimize our browser now from here click on next and then click on next again now from here you can select where you want to install obs by clicking on the browse button i'm just going to leave it as default and then click on install and as you can see the installation is complete and here we have the obs icon and if we keep this box checked and then click on finish obs is going to launch so let's go ahead and do that so here is what you are going to see when you launch obs for the first time so this is a auto configuration wizard so basically what it does is apply some settings to your obs depending on your need so i'm just going to select the optimize just for recording i will not be streaming option because i'll do some screen record and some gameplay records and i will not be streaming so this is what i'm choosing and then click on next now from here I can choose either 30 or 60 depending on my need at this moment I'm just going to record some screen and for that I don't need 60 fps so I'm just going to select 30 fps but if you are going to do some gameplay recording you might select 60 fps so let's go with 30 and then click on next and then click on apply settings now let's maximize obs and here you can see we don't have anything here just a black screen because you need to set up your sources and here you can see your sources and to start a screen record what you need to do first you need to click on this plus icon here and then click on display capture now from here you can change the name to something else i'm just going to leave it as display capture and then click on ok now before you do that make sure that this box is selected that says make source visible and then click on ok and here you can see that the preview is showing so let's just click on ok here and right here you can see the preview of our desktop here is the taskbar and everything now you can start recording right now and here you can see that i have a mic but this mic is from my laptop and it is a terrible mic i don't want to use this i'll be using a usb condenser mic which i have connected to my laptop so what i'm gonna do next is remove this one first so i'm just gonna click on this gear icon here and then click on hide now I'm going to add my USB condenser microphone. So what I need to do now is click on the plus icon again and then click on audio input capture. And then I'm just going to leave this name as is and then click on OK. Now in here, click here to select your microphone. Here is my USB condenser microphone. So I'm just going to select it and then click on OK. And here you can see my audio input capture which is the usb condenser mic that i have connected to this computer and it is working fine so i can just go ahead and start recording from now but before doing that there are some important settings that i need to change and you should too so let's go ahead and click on settings now from here you can leave all of these as default and you can also leave the stream part as default if you don't want to stream I'm not going to stream so I'm just going to leave it like that and then I'm gonna go to output now from here I can leave the streaming part as is and move to the recording part now here the recording path this is important because as of right now it is selected to C drive 
and if I leave it like that, all the recording is going to take up a lot of space in my C drive and which is going to fill up and make my computer slow. So what I'm going to do next is click on browse and then click on this PC and then select my documents drive and then create a new folder for OBS. and then select this folder and then click on select folder. Now all the recordings will be saved in this folder instead of the C drive. Now the next one is recording quality. So if I'm recording just this screen like this tutorial or something, I can leave it at high quality medium file size. But if I want to do gameplay recording, I might select indistinguishable quality large file size. So it is going to depend on your need. Now the recording format, this is very important. If you leave it MKB and output the files as MKB and, and import them to Premiere Pro, the Premiere Pro is not going to recognize MKB. So what I need to do is click here and then select MP4. And this will show you a warning that recordings saved to MP4 MOV will be unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalized, which means if, you, if there is a power outage or something, then the file will not be finalized, but that's okay because um, what are you gonna do with the half gameplay? If you cannot complete it, it's not going to work if you save it or not. So I think MP4 is what's best. Now the encoder is very important. So once you click here, you'll see that you have three options and the best option is hardware encoding. Now, if you're using a NVIDIA graphics card, you might see NVIDIA here. If you're using a AMD graphics card, you might see AMD here. So you need to select either AMD, NVIDIA, or hardware, depending on what shows up in here. And that is best for the recording and the smoothness. So I'm just going to select that. And once done, I'm just going to click on apply and then click on OK. Now we are ready for the recording. So let's click on Start Recording. And it just started recording. Here you can see. So let's minimize this. And now whatever I'm doing here is being recorded. And if we go to our File Explorer, this PC, and then the Documents folder, and the OBS folder, you can see that our new recording is here already and let's open OBS and stop the recording. Now you can also access the recording from here. If you click on file and click on show recordings, it's going to take you to the folder where your recordings are saved. So let's double click on it. And as you can see here, it is the recording that we have just did. And that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.